Hello everyone, for today's magic card trick tutorial, I thought it'd be neat to share with you a 3.0 version of a trick that I previously taught. Uh, this one's called This One 3.0. So you have a regular deck of cards, well shuffled, well mixed. Have a spectator just select any card they want, and it is a true and free selection. So let's assume they pick that card right there. They'll look at it, remember it, don't show you, but for the tutorial, obviously I'm gonna see it. Um, don't show you, you take their card and just lose it somewhere in the middle of the deck of cards. Just give the deck a few random cuts, just like that. And if you just tap the deck, now I don't know how this works, but it's pretty amazing. When you spread the cards out, the deck will actually tell you with some markings, there's something different about this card. Now, could it possibly be the selected card, the Jack of Clubs? And that's this one, 3.0. And it's pretty simple to do, but also, once you have the jack out, you can just give it a rub against the card just like that, and a magic tap, and the words will actually disappear from the card. And I can even show you that that is the only jack of clubs inside this regular deck of cards, okay? And that's this one, 3.0. Okay, so before I tell you how to do it, uh, please like and subscribe to this channel. I really appreciate it. It really helps the channel out. Also, check out thebestmagicshop.com where you can find some awesome new magic tricks, accessories, shirts, bags, and more for yourself or anyone who just likes magic. And now for the tutorial. Okay, so this one is kind of similar to tricks that I've taught before. <clears throat> You're going to need a double back card, okay? Now you can either make these or you can buy these. Um, if you know how to split cards, you can make your own. If you don't use bicycles, you know, that that's the way to go, but you can buy them. The bestmagicshop.com does sell a five card gaff set that includes one of these, um, red and blue. So uh, you can get that, I think they're three bucks plus the postage stamp. So uh, just keep that in mind. So you get a double back card and then just with a marker, just write this one, or is this your card, or whatever you wanna say on the wording. It doesn't really matter, okay? Once you have that done, dries, just take the double back card with the wording up and just place it on the bottom of a deck. And this is a regular deck of cards, okay? There's nothing special about it, just this card is the special, the double backer, okay? So you take your regular deck and have the wording on the bottom just like that, okay? So the deck will look like this, but this is your Double back, okay? Now you can shuffle. As long as you shuffle kind of quickly, you know, no one's gonna notice that bottom card is a double back card. And then just have the spectator select any card they want. They can pick any card except for the bottom card. Say they pick that card right there, the Jack of Spades. You take their card and just place it on top of the deck. Give the deck just a regular standard cut, just like that. That'll set the card next to their card. And you can even, you know, if you, can keep an eye on where the double back card is. Just kind of give, you know, even a fancy cut if you want. The magic tap is just, you know, once you've set the card, once you cut, you want to find where this uh, card is, the gimmick card that says, you know, this one or whatever it says on it. That's where you cut the cards. Okay, square them up. And then you're just doing a double lift. Okay, which is just taking two cards as one. And that'll flip that double back over, which is this card right here. And this is their selected card. Place that on the table. You can fan those cards out and you can just say, I can just rub the card like this. You know, once the deck's told us what it is, we don't need to know it anymore. So we can just make the ink vanish if you want to, or you can just leave it on the table. It doesn't matter. Now the ink's gone. This is your double back on top. You can square the cards up, turn the deck face up, and then just kind of go through you know, most of the deck except for at the end and just show that's the only jack of spades, you know, whatever card they pick in the deck. And then your double back is left on top and you can ditch it or um, whatever you want. Just put the cards back in the box, okay? So that's this one 3.0. So the key is just once you get the card there to do you cut, just do the double lift, which is just taking two cards as one Whichever way you wanna do it, whichever way you're comfortable, okay? So you're just taking two cards as one, flipping it over, squaring them up, taking now the top, the real top card, just one card. This is your double back 
off the bottom, spread the cards out. It looks like just a normal deck of cards, okay? And if you want to be careful, you don't wanna do that, okay? When you have the cards face up, but if you can practice, you know, spreading the cards out so you can get that card that's on the top just hidden below some cards. So if you spread them out like this, you know, you can show that that's a regular deck, but that's, you know, a little bit more difficult to do, okay? So not necessary for this trick, okay? So that's this one, 3.0. Please let me know what you think. I appreciate it. Have fun with it. And until next time.